Really? The finest hand-picked, well-tied spring meets the chewiest brown sugar bobo on the block. Bursting with L-carnitine, flavor, and health. What the hell am I looking at? The drink of divine. Newsflash. The RPC what? will soon be dispatching representatives to multiple worlds. The effort is part of a raft of new measures to encourage trade and strengthen what friendship the hell am I the looking cosmos. At? The Genius Society's newest masterpiece, Simulated Universe World 8, is about to go World live. 8? Madame Herta has revealed that the project is about to enter the launch phase. For further details, don't forget to tune in to our program's follow-up reporting. Renowned songstress Robin has received an invitation to perform at Penacone's Charmony Festival. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Hello? Hello? This is definitely in conjunction of how Halloween. For a hot thing November Recent 15. days, the Sienjo Lofu has reported an uptick in supernatural activity. With evil spirits wreaking havoc across multiple locations, the Ten Lords Commission has assured citizens that it is thoroughly investigating all incidents. This program will be bringing you the latest as the story unfolds. For more details, this is definitely stay in conjunction with Halloween. Haunted Sienjo special program. Definitely in conjunction with Halloween. Whoa. Bless you for choosing to dally here. Allow me to ask you, as a fellow entity what? of the universe, <laughs> the f am I looking are at? Acquainted with the goddess Cedrilla? Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, what a way to start the special program for your boss. Now what? Another anomaly in this shining universe. Oh boy, la ladies are gonna go crazy over this guy. Since you do not understand the beauty, I will have to show you in a way that only a knight can. Ladies had to go crazy over this guy. The beauty is eternal. Hey, we made it! What's up, guys? We're the haunted place in the world. Follow and share. Really? <laughs> Sushang. Meanwhile, in Sienjo Lawful. Cute. Yo, what's up? You're finally here. Oh. Captain Hohua, should we start the ghost talk now? Captain? You can just call me Hohua. Hohua kind of reminds me of Sukuos, to be very honest. In terms of design wise. Definitely in conjunction with um, Halloween because Halloween is, is, has already um, happened like what about a few a few days ago. So yeah, this is definitely in conjunction with, with um, Halloween from the way I see it. And I must say, in terms of design, once again, Hoho definitely reminds me of um, Sucrose. Um, design wise and and the red haired guy that we saw earlier on right he kind of reminds me of Diluc in some ways but personality wise nah he's definitely not Diluc definitely not Diluc so yeah um, the, okay let's see um, what this um, special program has to offer Darkness falls across the dude. Dude, Albert, what the hell are you wearing? Fires dance, the clock strikes twelve. Well, 
Whether or not your world has a midnight hour. Ooh, the, the, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. The background's different this time. Welcome to the Inner Astral Peace Media's Haunted Sienjo special program. Haunted Sienjo. I'm Sienjo. your host, the host with the most. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> For today's episode, well, we've invited two special guests. Together, we'll be introducing you to the Sienjo's weirdest and most wonderful. Hi everyone! I'm the Galactic Baseballer! Really? <laughs> Speaking of weird and wonderful... <laughs> hey guys! Grey Knife in here! It's an honor to be a guest on the 1.5 special program! Mm. Oh! Uh, I mean... Owlbert's... Haunted Cien Joe's special program! <laughs> huh? Owlbert, did you unlock a new skin? <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Naturally, an anchor of my standing needs to have the best wardrobe department in town. Now, as our audience will be well aware, the Sienjo is constantly roaming the universe. Mm -hmm. And the universe is filled with the unknown. It should come as no surprise then that the La Fu has had its fair share of strange encounters. And speaking of strange, the trailer we just witnessed gave us a sneak peek into a place of mystery, evil, and ghost fire. Fixtral Garden. Mm, New area? I thought Fixtral Garden was just some old abandoned place on the Law Fu. Why is it suddenly getting so much attention? Allow me to explain. A while back, the Artisanship Commission's creation furnace was shattered, and the helio by trapped inside were able to escape. Oh, they went to high. Mm, you yep. Fixtral Garden. I see. Wait, what's a heliobi? People say that the heliobi are the result of accumulated grievances. They can possess people, deceive the senses, affect the soul, and usurp the flesh. Those possessed exhibit bizarre behavior and restless thoughts. Mm. It's a truly frightening spectacle. But the creation furnace wasn't exactly fragile. Now, how could it just break? Rumor has it the Artisanship Commission surveillance recorded a gray haired figure in dark clothing. Gray haired figure in dark clothing? Gray hair, dark clothing? Did they have a baseball bat? Hey, <laughs> don't pin this on me. The destruction of the creation furnace was a direct result of the Stellaron disaster. Right, Oliver? Just. Tell us more about Fixtral Garden. <clears throat> and then Fixtral Garden has always been a yeah, glow definitely new area. energy. And the garden itself is littered with suppression towers, stone monoliths, and ancient trees. It's creepy enough in the day. But when the sun goes down, things get a whole lot creepier. The garden is layered and deceptive, and it's easy to lose your bearings. Since the Heliobi moved in. It's probably the most dangerous place on the Lafu. Heliobi are experts when it comes to possession, and even the most experienced Wraith Wardens and Arumaton Spectral Envoys can become their you enemies. When you can't tell your friend from your enemy, things tend to go south fast. If all that wasn't enough, they say that Mara-stricken members of the Ten Lords Commission also wander the garden. Yeah, it looks like a, di a different design. Keep your wits about you. <laughs> Sounds like great streaming material to me. I bet. Trail I base continues av available. No <laughs> Funny you should mention to most people. Okay. Um, so was always a strange, good, and desolate good. That rarely got much attention. But now that stories are beginning to circulate, the situation has changed. Recently. The Sienjo's online forums have been filling up with posts describing this feels more like a feeler out from the way I see it. Fixtral Garden. Everything from self-playing violence. Penakoni when Honkai. Penakoni when. Unsurprisingly, Sienjo fans of the supernatural are loving every second. Uh, in my experience, forums aren't exactly the most reliable news sources. Oh, who cares if some of it's false? This is a hype train I can't afford to miss! 
Trailblazer, what do you think? Wanna start a ghost hunting squad with me? <sighs> Fire breathing, quiet band performances, headstands, balancing acts, spear deflection, sword juggling, and boulder smashing. Weren't enough, huh? <laughs> now you're an expert in ghost hunting? Uh, who said I was an expert? I just have a lot of transferable skills. That's all. <laughs> right. Well, you better hope so. Speaking of which, in the brand new version 1.5 Trailblaze Continuance, a Foxian tale of the hunted, the ghost hunting squad will be responsible for chasing down Helio by purging evil, resolving crises, and protecting the Sienjo. A Foxian tale of the hunted is divided into five chapters and starts off with the ghost hunting squad facing an unusual danger and Sojourner's ghastly referee. Once this chapter is complete, the story continues to unfold with twins, precipient, sword essence, and foxy and dream. Five chapters, huh? Five we'll sub chapters. We'll be stopping Sanjo internet okay. searches in no time. See? I knew we were on the same wavelength. This might be a and long. The trailblaze um, continuance, and together with Miss Gwen Knighton, this may be a long story quest. Will also be facing fictional Probably about dangers, three hours. Both. Maybe four. Urban legends we'll see. and. Ghost hunting squad missions. <laughs> cool! <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot to mention during the ghost hunting squad's fictional exploration, trailblazers can jointly manage great knife and socials. Posting threads is a great way to create discussion among Zienjo netizens okay. and fans of the supernatural. Okay, this is definitely oh, something new. We're gonna get the whole Zienjo Once again, Honkai Star will. Every single version, they're, they're, they're gonna try out something new. I'm talking daily updates, community engagement, all that good stuff. Once it all started with the museum, the and then the um, how, to the, um, the how to manage the how to manage the the city oh, yeah, at the Sienjo Law Firm. There's always room for creative talent. And the then um, I don't want to do horn the Ethereum Wars, which was uh, the current version that's ongoing as of this video being recorded. And now we have the. How to manage one's social media in 1.5. I'm too invested in the Sienjo for now, though. Good to know there's an offer on the table. Let's go. Gotta give props to the Hokkaido team for their, like. for trying Deal. to try now, where, where something new every oh, version. Socials. Increasing your account's popularity <laughs> level allows you to unlock more stories and events. Your ghost hunting skills will only improve as you unlock more suppression towers and take on new challenges. Not okay. to mention, by completing limited time missions, Trailblazers can obtain the event light cone, hey, over here. What do you think, Guilings? Let's give it up for Guilings' generosity. Woo! Uh, <sighs> so, abundance? I hope the ghost hunting squad is up that to look the like job. the uh, the, the light like cone we'll for abundance. Correct me if I'm wrong. You might just be getting a helping hand from one of the Sienjo's most formidable forces. The Ten Lords Commission. They're the judges of the Mara Struck, the arbiters of life and death. When it comes to warding off evil and expelling the supernatural, nobody does it like the Ten Lords. But despite their reputation, they're shrouded in a certain amount of mystery. Whoa! The Ten Lords are getting involved? Just when I thought our stream couldn't get any crazier! Well, before you get too excited, I'd spend some time getting to know your assignee. The Ten Lords have dispatched a trainee judge to assist the ghost hunting squad whoa, whoa. in investigating the fictional garden situation. Trainee, huh? Uh, as long as they're confident in their abilities. Yeah, about that. <laughs> yep, whoa, whoa. Cute. Whoa. Is a wind type character following yeah, abundance. Yeah, I was right. And a trainee judge of the Ten Lords Commission. <gasps> Wait, is her tail on fire? Those are the spookiest looking flames I've ever seen. Yeah, does being on fire help with ghost hunting? What are you two whispering about? <laughs> Nothing. Just beginning to doubt her credentials. How did this little girl become a Lord. judge in the first place? Good question. Wakwa is essentially a magnet for evil. Something that comes in super handy for the Ten Lords Commission. Really? They couldn't believe their luck. Sounds qualified. Of course. 
Talent comes in all shapes and sizes. The key is to bring the best out of everyone. Still, to her, what was unique skill set isn't exactly a blessing. People say she has the worst luck on the CN show. Oof. Always running into ghosts, tripping over things. And I just realized, you know the deal. Is well, she building a white flag? I spent my life running into ghosts. I'd probably fall over a lot too. I remember one of my Gwailings had the same problem. Moving on. For her, one of my sponsors sells this amazing remedy that can. And we're getting sidetracked. Anyway, I only told you half the story. Bad luck, evil attraction, call it what you like. It all started from a single unfortunate event. Oh? When Hua Hua was a little younger, her tail was possessed by a monstrous long life species. Any guesses? Oh. Yep. It was a Heliobus. Heliobus? That very same day, the Ten Lords Commission decided to seal the monster in its hiding place and took Hua Hua under their wing. Ah, I get it. So Hua Hua is kind of like a, a Ten Lords guinea pig. <laughs> Buddy! I think Herta had a similar fate planned for me. That may have been part of it. However, the Ten Lords realized that Wukwa had the ability to pacify the monster. Naturally, anyone able to wield the power of a Heliobus was seen as a potential weapon of war. But she's just a baby! How could a scared little Foxian girl ever take on the responsibilities of the Ten Lords? Oh, oh was well aware she's a scared of cat. That's why she watches so many horror immersions. To train her courage. Wow. I guess you could call that fighting fear with fear. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're all weak, y'all. If that actually worked, I'd have joined the Stellaron Hunters already. Practicality <laughs> aside, Wolf was willingness to confront her shortcomings is a true sign of professionalism. Not to mention, having spent more than a few years in the company of a Heliobus, she's had to develop her own tricks for banishing evil. Wolf was basic attack. Banner Stormcaller can deal wind damage to a single target. Uh, okay. kind of looks like her tail is the one making the decisions. <clears throat> when using her skill, Talisman Protection, <laughs> Whoop Whoop bravely brandishes her banner, restoring HP to a single ally and adjacent teammates. Are you sure she's not Whoa. trying to surrender? Whoop <clears throat> was ultimate tail spiritual domination. Can regenerate allies' energy and increase their attack. Whoa. Ooh, a buff. So that's what a Heliobus looks like. No wonder it took the Ten Lords Commission to seal it away. When under the regenerate energy and um, has a few increase basic powers. attack. Well, that's and using her skill. Well, that's a buff. She receives sacrifice life. Sacrifice life can grant allies a set amount of HP restoration at the beginning of their respective turns or when they use their ultimate. Nice. Not okay. bad for a trainee, huh? This ghost hunting squad's gonna kick butt! Mm, that's not all. What was technique? Fiend impeachment of evil. Sends her enemies into a horror-struck state and scatters them in all directions. When attacking a horror-struck enemy, there's a chance of reducing their attack. Ooh. Oh, scaring away your enemies? Not bad. Not <laughs> nice bad. Moves, it's not mind-blowing, but, the, the, hey, but it's not that bad. Of course, when you're dealing with Helio, basically you you the debuff judges, the enemy before the you end the battle. That's why the ten lords not bad. a seasoned veteran to bring up the rear. But I'm about none <laughs> I feel like Jin Liu's um, yeah. talent is way much more better than. Uh... Oh, who's this? Okay. The music though. Damn, girl. Hanya, Hanya is a netherworld judge of the Ten Lords Commission. She's a physical type character, following the path of harmony. Ah, harmony, okay. I remember that face. Uh, I saw her on the Return to Darkness light going. Yeah. Correct the Mundo. <laughs> Rumor has it, she's one of two sisters dedicated to the work of the Ten Lords. She's responsible for predicting karmic offenses and recording corresponding judgments. Or to be more precise, Hanya reads the karmic sins of criminals and uses her oracle brush to record their punishments. Mm -hmm. She's good at her job and takes it super seriously. In the Ten Lords Commission, her reputation precedes her. <gasps> Sounds like a Ten Lords celebrity! She put in the hours, that's for sure. 
In order to determine their sins, Hanya reads the memories of the Mara struck in the form of dreams. Cool. Sounds like our ghost hunting squad just found its guiding light. No offense, Hua Hua, but those sound like credentials. <laughs> hey, enough with the Hua Hua bullying. <laughs> but speaking of credentials, it's time to see what Hanya can do on the battlefield. During her basic mm -hmm. attack, Hanya uses her Oracle Brush to assault the enemy, dealing physical damage to a single target. She Hush. really lives by the pen is mightier than the sword, huh? <laughs> I'll get my coat. <sighs> In addition to dealing physical damage to a single target, she's kind of hot. I some Sara lot can inflict them with a burden state. Ooh, burden state. Got Hanya's way of marking enemies prior to sentencing. Pretty much, allies inflict increased damage on enemies marked with burden. And if that wasn't enough, after an ally launches a set amount of attacks on an enemy marked with burden. They recover a skill point. Nice. When the going gets tough, Hanya's got your buff. Hanya's ultimate, Ten Lords Decree, All Shall Obey, can increase speed and attack for a single ally. Single when Hanya ally. uses okay. her technique during exploration, she immediately launches an attack and inflicts burden on a random enemy. Not the bad. Enemy won't budge, call in the judge. Not bad. All that aside, in version 1.5, the new stagnant shadow. Well, an another new stagnant shadow garden map on the Sienjo Lafu. Complete the challenge to obtain new physical ascension materials. Within the same map, this one's definitely for Hanya. What? Welcoming Cavern of Corrosion, Path of Darkness. Complete the challenge to obtain two brand new cavern. I want to see the effects. Prisoner in deconfinement and Grand Duke incinerated to ashes. <laughs> I want to see the effect. Well, Damn it! That just about brings us. To the final sections of our Haunted Zian Joe special program. Huh? Already? Oh, this program isn't nearly haunted enough for my liking. Where There's one more character stories? they they have not you introduced know, yet though. Beautiful foxy and spirits knocking on your door at midnight. That kind of thing. I think you're thinking of a different program. Moving swiftly on to some exciting updates. <laughs> Thanks again for watching y'all and don't go anywhere. Right back after the following commercials. <laughs> hey, you there? Sick and tired of the daily grind? Had enough of running errands? Do you long for rapturous applause and cheering voices? How about increased self confidence and a sense of pride? We have an opportunity for you. The Boulder Town Martial Exhibition is now open for registration. Put yourself to the test by challenging the best. This event will once again be hosted by Scott Business Alliance. Is this practically a Scott rerun of the uh... Made for the champions. In Didn't this had, kind of, had this kind of an event before? This event will be adopting a simultaneous exhibition format. Use your fist to prove your worth. Enter I Am The Ultimate Fighter to register your name. Didn't we this had... You be Boulder Did Town's new fighting this kind of an event? Star? Um, before? Border Town... A stellar Shadow Seeker recruitment announcement! March 7th, member of the Nameless has put out a cordial invitation for anyone able to restore her photographs to the way she remembers them. The images okay. in question were inexplicably damaged. I lost all kinds of cool pictures! Beautiful scenery, Pom -pom. strange encounters, you name it! There's a big reward for anyone that can help me restore the images. Actions speak louder than words. Miss March's memories are in your hands. Got it. Madam Herda of the Genius Society is about to launch unlimited beta testing for the newly developed Simulated Universe World yep. H. Simulated Universe World will have their cost covered and progress saved for future iterations. Oh. In order to participate in this offline competition, we finally get test, to fight against the punching the bag. Most mysterious place in the universe, Herda's office. Test participants will be rewarded with the brand new Pentagoni Land of the Dreams and Ferment Frontline Glamaz Blader Ornaments. What I want the effects, for? buddy. Contesting. I want the effects. Good Sheesh. news. The Planar Fisher and Garden of Plenty events are about to begin. It's the version you know and love. Let the computer do the hard work for three minutes and get your hands on double rewards together with our Genty. 
One must explore the essence of beauty to appreciate the depth of chivalry. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is I, your beloved avian servant. Oh, welcome to Inter Astro Peace Media's second special program, Legend of Cosmic Beauty. In today's program, we will be oh my goodness gracious, what, what on God's green so, earth am I looking how's my at? my favorite audience doing? <laughs> Great to see you. We've hardly been gone and Albert here has already had another wardrobe change. <laughs> yep. Perhaps you didn't get the memo. We're about to be discussing a night of impeccable okay. elegance. At least um, the Honkai team is they've been trying something different so, for once. Without further ado, I like Genshin. allow me to introduce a member of the Knights of Beauty. Ha, All right, let's see what he got. Like I said, hairstyle definitely reminds me of Diluc, but in terms of personality, he is definitely so not Diluc. Is a physical type character following the path of erudition. Erudition. Oh, A O E. Argenti spent his life roaming the universe and extolling their name. Ah, so the simulated universe occurrences Curio, Robe of the Beauty, and Knights of Beauty to the rescue. They're obviously related to the Knights, right? Running into the Knights of Beauty while testing the simulated universe is always a blessing. Those guys are a lifeline in a tight spot, especially when I can't get enough path resonance. <laughs> Treating people with courtesy, helping others as a matter of principle, mm -hmm. and offering sincere praise to all things in the universe. Mm -hmm. Such is the code of conduct that our Genti lives by. In the simulated universe, not every helping hand is benevolent, but those provided by the knights are beyond question. May the names of our Genti and the beauty be blessed for all eternity. Uh, speaking of which, Albert. What was that Planar Fissure and Garden of Plenty commercial all about? Well, Argenti magnanimously answered our call and agreed to appear in our commercial as a corporate ambassador. Really? Oh, and I know they forgot our end of the bargain. <clears throat> the IPM acknowledges that Idrilla the Beauty is the most pure beauty of them all. <sighs> Albert, what did you get yourself into now? Who's Idrilla? Don't worry. Just a little two way back scratch. Um, okay. Kind of TMI. But I still don't really understand the concept of the beauty. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Adrilla's beauty permeates everything. Take Argenti, for example. From his daily armor cleaning routine to his constant grace, all of it stems from his pursuit of the beauty. Okay. Elegance is Argenti's middle name and even manifests itself in his combat. Argenti's basic attack. Elegance, huh? Physical damage to a Reminds target. me of a certain old a man in Spy Family. Nearby blooms can deal physical damage to all. Who is all nice. about elegant? Man, I wish I looked that elegant in combat. Mm. Argenti's mm. ultimate is pretty unique, triggering different effects depending on the amount of energy consumed. Such is the manifold beauty of a driller. When consuming a small amount of energy, Argenti's ultimate. For in this garden, supreme beauty bestows can deal damage to all enemies. Nice. When consuming all energy, Argenti's ultimate becomes. Like finally, we have a, a bestowed a, in my garden, which deals a physical um, type character that, that deals damage to all characters, target. right? Huh? Wait, so you can choose you never how had much that energy then. to release. Mm, that's not all. Argenti's talent. You never so had a character Argenti that can do can damage to Argenti all to a physical type energy character that deals damage to all um all enemies. Can increase Argenti's Trailblazer oh, doesn't come. Trailblazer so is adjacent. Trailblazer is adjacent. Or, uh, or Argenti is all. Argenti needs to attack as many enemies as possible. The greater the number of enemies, the faster his energy regeneration, and the stronger his combat. Yeah. Exactly. Stronger combat, faster energy regeneration. I mean, that's how the top of erudition works. Argenti they're, they're erudition mostly, um, I'm here for it. Um, they're, most of their attacks are AOE and never single target. Single target range. characters enemies uh, to follows the path of the hunt. Just like Topaz. Topaz, she's mostly a single target um, hitting um, and Woo. she's a single target <laughs> character. Argenti is kind of handsome. I'm feeling a little dazed myself. <laughs> they say looks can kill. 
That's true. The huh. Argenti fans are in for a fatal surprise. In Argenti will be getting a company mission. In Night of Universal but Hallucinations. Only him? Trailblazers will encounter Argenti en route to a washtopia. Uh, wait a second. Lol. A wash a what now? Kill his face. I shower every day. Slow down there, Trailblazer. Kill his face. Have you never asked yourself? He'd be like, huh? How the Astral Express stays so clean and shiny? Uh, because... Pom Pom's always cleaning up after us? <laughs> it's because the train stops at Washtopia's along its journey. Washtopia's specialize in cleaning interstellar crap. You know, there are all kinds of fast acting, lemon scented, antibacterial. We're getting off topic! All you need to know is that the encounter with Argenti is I really love the special point. program from Honkai Star Rail. And a I really do. Tells me Way more so than Genshin. The entire crew. I don't get it. I'm not Why saying Genshin's special program sucks. It's just, I'm, what I'm saying is that Unkai Starrell's special was, program is way more entertaining to... than Genshin. Anyway, okay? Argenti only challenges those who he deeply respects. Ah, you mean that the illustrious galactic baseballer's reputation don't precede one? What the hell? Uh, sure. <laughs> Anyway, with the driller's blessing, <laughs> oh my let's gosh. move straight what on the to the version 1.5 warp events. Oh, finally! Uh, first up, yeah. during the first phase of version 1.5 in the character event warp. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Hoho, you are. I'm, but I'm can skipping you. Five -star character You're pure, warp. but I'm skipping Yours, you. Yours, my favorite scaredy cat trainee judge! During the second phase of version 1.5, mm -hmm. we'll be welcoming two character event warps. In two? Thorns of Scented Crown. Trailblazers can obtain the limited five-star character Argenti! Mm -hmm. Ah, our knight in shining armor! <laughs> Meanwhile, in Contract Z, huh? the familiar Silver face wolf? of Silver Wolf will be joining the war. Not to mention the four-star character Hanya. And Hanya's in the second half the of the of the of the character, of the character Wolf. Ah, long time no see, Silver Wolf. <laughs> uh, I wonder if her game accounts are doing any better. <laughs> yeah, one point one. Now it's one point one. Take a look at version one point five's light cones. In the first phase of version one point five, the oh, drop rate for the five sure. star light cones. So I did one point one and one point two where stuff happened to uh, her her game accounts. The five star light cone and instance before games will enter the light cone event war. At the same time, the drop rate for the five star light cone incessant rain will be boosted. All aboard! <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm the skipping, the, I'm skipping 1.5. I'm really Here's sorry. Some other cool stuff. Starting from 1.5 within the team selection and character ascension screen, mm -hmm. every character will have brand new voice this lines. This is a different kind of arena. Oh, Lord, again. Is that good or bad? Ah, is that Hoho's essential line? Ah, oh, so just like in Genshin. Uh, wait, if a character's already fully ascended, can we still hear that line? We got to come. All audio lines get saved in the index. Just like anytime. in Genshin. Here's something else. In version 1.5, we'll also be seeing a guest book feature update. Mm -hmm. If trailblazers are ever curious to check which friends have visited the Express, the guest book has a record and message from each visit. Nice. <laughs> Such a neat idea. Additionally, the Forgotten Hall will also be receiving updates in 1.5. First up, in Forgotten Hall Combat, mm -hmm. Trailblazers can now choose to re-challenge. Re-challenge? Re it's like this. If How does things it aren't going too smooth when challenging a certain stage, Trailblazers can choose to return to the Forgotten Hall map and restart the challenge. Nice. Challenging. Previously used technique points are replenished. Nice. A chance to replan your main technique strategy, perhaps. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot to mention: stopping and restarting a challenge in the second half of a stage doesn't mean you have to redo the first half. Nice. Hey, and nice. Nice. Your combat lineup for each stage is now remembered. Nice. Whether you met with victory or defeat. Your previous lineup will be waiting for you on the preparation screen. Nice. No need for manual selection. Now that's nice. Kind of Can't wait for Trailblazers to give it all a spin. The Forgotten Hall is an important system within the game. 
Updates will continue to be rolled out, so stay tuned for future versions. And that, well, and that like kind of reminds me. Why did it? Why you didn't Genshin have this kind of update in the uh, Spiral Abyss, man? What the hell? I mean, what Genshin could do is right. Um, the characters that have, was being used in the previous uh, Spiral Abyss stays over there. And then they add in a, a clear all button of some kind, and then they and then the so that the players can choose a new party or some sort. So it it, it should be that way, man. But every single time I enter the spiral base, right, I have to choose whichever character I want again. So it, it's kind of a bit of a uh, a bit of a hassle, to be very honest. So I kind of wish Genshin had that feature in the in the game again. But once again. Genshin Ming Genshin the they just they are literally um Hoyo vs Go Mine They're not gonna bother I doubt they're gonna bother listening to whatever the the players are gonna say. <laughs> hey folks and oh Winnerfern is back. <laughs> Me too. Me three <laughs> Good to see you again, Trailblazers. You're just in time to help us wrap up version 1.5 special program. Aw, uh, is it that time already? Oof. I was just getting started. Be my guest, Trailblazer. This owl is ready to flap. <clears throat> Aren't you forgetting something, Albert? I'm pretty sure you didn't mention the thing. Hey? Freebies. <gasps> the freebies. The thing. That thing. The freebies. Gift of Odyssey. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I love you, Hongkai Tariel. I love you. <laughs> Check it out. Good old gift of Odyssey. And that's not the only thing to love in version 1.5. Anything in today's IPM programs tickle your fancy guys? You had me at Ghost Hunting Squad. I am so ready for a spooky stream. Okay. <laughs> Sign me up. As for me, it was all about those unique characters. Ho Ho's tail backstory, Hanya's Ten Lords expertise, and Argenti's mysterious search for the beauty. <laughs> Can't wait to see them in person. Couldn't have put it better myself. <laughs> and with that, Trailblazers, I bid you a peaceful onward journey. <laughs> oh. Thank you for supporting the IBL. See you in the next one. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> see you all in the next special program. Bye bye. And that's the end of Honkai Star Wheel. Version 1.5 special program. Yeah, it's, it was alright. It was alright. Not, it's not as mine. It's not really mind blowing, but it's alright. <laughs> but unfortunately, um, for the the character wishes, unfortunately, I'll be skipping because there is one character in 1.6 that really caught my attention. So in version 1.6, right, one of the characters um, who will be available is um, Ruan Mei, and design and her design is so good. I I, I will say. So the next character that I will definitely be pulling for will be um, Ruan Mei, which will be available in 1.6, and hopefully, um, hopefully there will be some. Um, backstory of her of some kind because I'm really curious how um, what her story is all about and and of course um, how her gameplay is but just but just by looking at the, the the icon on the bottom left side right she's an ice character following the path of um, harmony so okay this should be in interesting so I'm just really curious how uh, her game her gameplay works and the only way to find out is um, once one for six draws, which is most likely around, I believe it's around January. I, I might be wrong. It's probably around January. Then I'll be throwing home all of my resources available on one May. So yeah, long story short, one point five is um, it's not that bad, but unfortunately, I'll, I'll be skipping the uh, the characters. Wolf such as Lights of um, Wohu, Argenti, and Silver Wolf because they're not on my priority list, unfortunately. But I will definitely will be checking out the um, the trade base continuance mission at uh, for sure. The the flagship event, which is about where one 
where we have to manage um, Gwen Nifen's um, social media. As for Argenti's um, companion mission, if I feel like it, I will definitely do it. If I, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see how things goes. We'll see how things goes. And that's pretty much my reaction to Honkai Star Wheel Special Program 1.5.